Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We are going to be reviewing the new spring collection from Kaleidos Makeup. I'm so excited to be reviewing this because literally every single collection Kaleidos comes out with, I am so hyped for because every single collection is so beautiful, it's so unique, and it's so inspiring. And this collection is no exception. This was sent to me in PR from Kaleidos, but I'm not required to make a video, I'm not sponsored, just letting you know that I did get sent this in PR. But with that being said, we have a lot to uncover in today's video. There's a lot of new things, there's a lot of new details. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop into the review. Okay, so first things first, I want to give you guys a little overview of the collection. I also want to like unbox the PR set because it really is an experience when you're opening it. Um, there's just so much attention to detail that I just have to spotlight that because they put a lot of work into this and that just goes for all of their collections. There's a lot of detail and just the presentation and everything about this collection just feels like an experience So I do have another camera here so you guys can see a closer look So this is what the PR set looks like you can actually buy this full collection for 137 US dollars it will come with everything that I'm about to show you now But you can also buy this dresser if you would like this is 49 US dollars and the dresser is pretty hefty the material on this is high quality it does doesn't feel cheap at all. And that's another thing that I really love about Kaleidos is that you can repurpose the packaging with all of their past collections. Like one came in a suitcase that you could reuse. I love how they put a lot of thought into the formulation, into the products, into the packaging. It all just shows. So I really, really love this and I was like so excited to receive this in PR. But let's go ahead and start with the first layer. So we open it up like this and you will open up to a mirror. And in the first layer we have the little extras that come in the collection. So first we have this coloring in book that I was so excited for. I love coloring in, like it's one of my favorite side hobbies. So it does say coloring in book, but in reality, the first three pages are the pages where you can color in and then the rest are all blank pages. So you could use this as a scrapbook, as a doodling book, but I do wish that there was more pages where I could color in since it does say coloring in book, but I'm still happy about it. I'm gonna use this for, I don't know, doodling or writing video ideas. This will be like more of my creative notebook just because it's so bright. I still like it, but I do wish it was a little bit more coloring in, um, but still a really nice A5 notebook. And the last thing in the top drawer are just these temporary tattoos, which you can purchase for three US dollars. I probably will be passing this on to my niece. So going ahead and closing the first layer, let's open the first drawer. So in the first drawer, we have their new Cloud Lab lip clays, and these are 35 US dollars each and inside you will receive four liquid lipsticks so it goes for about uh, eight dollars for a liquid lipstick which is a really good so they have two sets the blue set is called flora noir and it will come with more brighter unique colors something more of a statement but you guys can just see the packaging here is just absolutely stunning it reminds me a lot of like Gucci packaging I'm not into high-end stuff but I don't know, maybe it's the snakes that reminds me of Gucci, but this is the packaging, so stunning. And you can reuse these little tins. Um, this is what it looks like inside. Just take this felt thing out and then you can reuse this for stationery, jewelry, lashes, <laughs> anything really. And then the pink set we have here also, the packaging just gorgeous. Um, this one is called the Sandcastle set and it will come with more, I guess, wearable colors, more neutral colors, more nudie colors, and this is what it looks like inside. So you can differentiate between the two. And the packaging is sort of like the NARS packaging, that soft matte velvet sort of texture. Super, super pretty. And unfortunately, you can't get the individual liquid lipsticks on its own. You can only purchase it in the set. And then let's move into the last straw. And inside we have the eyeshadow palette and the lip mask. So we'll start off with the eyeshadow palette first. I adore this packaging. With a lot of the eyeshadow palettes, the actual packaging that it comes in, it just feels like you're opening a story. You're like you're opening a book. We just lift this up and it goes like this and it opens out like that. 
and then we open out these flaps and then you have your little present inside like just how cool is that it goes for all of their like futurism palettes as well it's like opening a book and here we have the most beautiful palette it is just so unique i feel like first off with the mirror um, and just the layout is actually really unique so the way you open this is like this it's magnetic so the whole top half comes off and now you have a handheld mirror so i personally love this function i love how it comes off and now i have like a full handheld mirror i like how it's skinny so i'm able to hold it i feel like they had that in consideration you guys probably noticed that i do my makeup with my handheld mirror so i'm always like this and this is good it works it's tiny it's what i'm used to i've been doing this for many years now i definitely picked this up because of youtube because of filming on camera i can't go like this to my mirror i have to be like this so having this is really really nice and i can see my entire face and the quality of the mirror is really great as well i don't think this is going to be for everyone but i do think it's really unique how it just comes off like this the palette is also quite heavy like that was something that i noticed when i first held it um so it feels very high quality so again we just open it up like this and then we have the beautiful eyeshadows in here we have nine shadows the teals the pinks and then the greens a really unique color story and the Fel Punk palette is 36 US dollars and the last thing in the collection is their blue agave softening lip mask the packaging again so pretty and this is what the actual component looks like it is really unique like it has sort of this wave curve texture to the lid and this blue is just absolutely gorgeous honestly so this lip mask is actually eight us dollars i don't know why i thought it would have been more expensive but for eight us dollars this is amazing i can see them coming out with like other uh i guess finishes so this one would be softening and if they came out with like a pink one that's hydrating a purple one that's plumping that would be really cool i can so see them doing that so that was the overview of the collection absolutely stunning i'm obsessed with all of the details it's such a pleasure to play with these products because it's so visually pleasing but the products are also really great as well so let's get started with the reviews let's go ahead and talk about the flower punk palette first because I feel like the palettes are always the main thing of the collections. So like I already showed you previously, it does come off like this. And here we have the shadows. I'm going to leave my other Collide Dose reviews in the description if you would like to hear me talk about their shadows more because I am a really big fan of their eyeshadows. I think they perform so well. They have a lot of like brighter colors that perform perfectly, like they're not patchy. I don't think I've ever had an issue with any of Collide Dose's eyeshadows. They all performed really well and the quality definitely is there the mattes are beautiful for me the star of the show are definitely their metallics although there are only three they do stand out their metallics are literally like out of space they are just so vibrant and they really catch your eyes so all of the mattes performed well i didn't have any patchiness i layered some on top of each other no issues there chef's kiss um, for the metallics we have three in the palette so the green one and the teal one is that typical kaleidos formulation very sparkly a lot of glitter very impactful just that beautiful metallic formulation the only one that's a little bit different is the pink one called stained glass this one's more of like a satin finish it's not as impactful as the other two it doesn't have so much glitter it's more of like a duochrome satin flip which does give a little bit more variation to the metallics but i really do wish it was that typical kaleidos metallic formulation but i really do like it i have it in my inner corners right now um but that's the only thing I noticed everything else performed well so I feel like if this color story speaks to you I would say go for it a couple of these shades are very unique into my collection and I have a very big collection but I don't have a palette that has this type of color story and some of these shades in here are just very very unique you can create so many looks I think all three of my looks look so different from each other I'm doing a green and pink today like me being me, I would have just done the green all over and be monochromatic, but it really made me step out of my comfort zone. I felt very, very inspired by this palette, so 
I enjoyed this one and I would highly recommend if you were interested in this palette only if the color story speaks to you I do think the pinks in here do make it a little bit more wearable if you were just to wear the pinks on its own you definitely can create sort of like a subtle everyday look for sure but for the most part if you're wanting some bright vibrant colors that are just so eye-catching then this is a really great one I would highly recommend I would recommend any of their palettes really because they are all so stunning but yeah this one's a really really pretty one I really enjoyed this okay so that was my palette review we can now move into my three looks I hope you guys will enjoy all of them I'm gonna leave timestamps down below if you want to move forward and pass the three looks to the lip products but timestamps it will be on the timeline here so yeah let's just move into the three looks Alright guys, so hopping into the first look, I'm going to start off with my eyeshadow primer. I'm going to be using the one from Kaleidos, it's their Tone Activator Eye Primer. I'm just going to be using my ring finger and I'm going to dab that on all over my lid up towards my brow bone and towards the outer edge as well. This is the eye primer that I'm going to be using for all three looks and it's usually the eye primer that I use for all of my looks. So the first shadow we're going to hop into is Golden Age and I'm just going to take this on a tapered blending brush and I'm going to work that into my crease using windshield wiping motions and then I'll use a little circular motion to blend this up towards my brow bone. This shade is pretty pigmented off the bat. I don't think you really need to build it up too much so just take a little bit on your brush and get this blended all over your lid. We're really gonna smoke this out and just really blow out this shadow because it is going to be the base color. I also take that onto my lower lash line as well but you can see I'm using a pretty big brush to just get this blown out all over the lower lash and a key point here is to make sure you are connecting the shadows at the outer edge so that way the whole look can come together and look more cohesive and next going into the shade earth ship I'm taking a smaller blending brush and I'm gonna focus this at the outer corners of my eyes you can see that I'm just stamping on the product there to get the most pigmentation and then I'll slowly start blending that shadow out by using windshield wiping motion and then going back in with circular motions and you just want to take your time blending this out this one's also very pigmented that's just Kaleidos' formulation it's so pigmented but very easy to blend out but you just want to make sure you are taking your time there's no rush I think the more time you take on your eyeshadows the more blended it looks so we're also going to take that same shadow into the inner third of our eyes so I'm going to take this on a pencil brush because my inner corners here is a little bit folded so I want to make sure I'm getting it all the way into that inner third so just using a pencil brush to do that stamping motion and then I'll go in with like a tiny fluffy blending brush to smoke that out and you just want to keep the middle of your lid blank of shadow the only shadow there is that base transition shadow that we placed down earlier but for my lower lash line I'm gonna take this on a defining brush and I'm just going to press that up against my waterline I take this all around um, this is just what I like when I do a halo eye so I'm just gonna press that up against my waterline and then taking the shade Sun Gazer I'm going to place that right at the center of my eyes where we left it blank of shadow and I'm using this dry I'm not using a wet if you want to use it wet by all means it's going to be super foiled and metallic and very pretty but I think even on its own when it's dry it is just as gorgeous you see all of these like beautiful sparkles and this look is just so monochromatic and cohesive I love Love it so I'm just like really diffusing this out at the center of my eyes I am gonna take another pencil brush and I'm just gonna take this same shadow onto my lower lash line at the center I'm just going to diffuse a little bit there it kind of just gives a little bit more dimension to the lower lash line and it ties in that halo eye effect that is pretty much done for eyeshadow I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner now I'm taking the one from M cosmetics to create my outer wing and then I'll go in with my black eyeshadow on an angle brush to just perfect my wing to sharpen it to smoke it out to line my lash line you guys know how I love to do my eyeliner now I feel then I'm gonna be taking the Colourpop cream gel liner in the shade Wildcat and I'm gonna use this to tight line my bottle water line I feel like this is the perfect eyeliner for this look it matches that metallic shadow so perfectly and then lastly for lashes I am applying Boudoir Light from House of Lashes 
All right, you guys, so this is the first look completed. We have this beautiful olive satrice green halo eye. I love how the look looks quite grungy, but also bright at the same time. And we only use three shadows for this look and it's so impactful and it's a really easy eye technique to do. So I just really love how the final look turned out. I love green eyeshadows. I think it's just so complimentary to my skin tone. As for my lip color, I went into the sand color set and I took the shade Terra as my lip color. So yeah, that is the first look completed. I hope you guys enjoyed. Alright, so now on to the second look, we have a duo eye, so we're going to start off with the pink eye first. I'm going to be going in with the shade Peach Soju. I love the name of this, I think it's so cute. We're going to use Peach Soju as our transition shadow, so I'm just going to sweep that straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions, and then I'll use more circular motions to blend that up towards my brow bone and also towards the outer corners. I thought this would have been a brighter type of pink, but it's quite muted which I like so definitely one of the more wearable shades in the palette so we're also going to take that onto our lower lash line as well we're just going to sweep that from the outer corner right to our inner corners and then taking the shade Nouveau we're going to start packing this on at the outer corners of our eyes just to get the most pigmentation there and then we will slowly start blending that up into our crease area this is a really beautiful muted sort of mauvey brown. I think it's a really unique shade. It kind of reminds me of like a lip color. So we're also going to take that onto our lower lash line but on a defining brush and we're just going to press that up against our waterline. Next going into the shade Stained Glass, we're going to place this at the inner third of our eyes and we're also going to take that in towards our inner corners as well. This shade I feel like translates a little bit different than it looks in the pan. I think in the pan it looks like a light pink with a lot of gold flecks but once it's on the eyes I think it's definitely that fuchsia type of pink very kaleidos in my opinion but I just wanted to note that that it does translate a little bit different and also that this metallic is more on that satin side it's not that typical kaleidos super foiled with a lot of uh, glitter reflex this one is more subtle so that is pretty much the eye look I'm just gonna go ahead and create my wing with my black Black liquid liner I will take my black eyeshadow to smudge that wing out and then I will pop on my false lashes I am wearing honey from petite cosmetics so now on to the green minty eye we're gonna start off with the shade mint fever and this is going to be our transition shadow I think this shade is quite unique although I initially thought I had a shade like this in my collection I feel like it's just a good balance of mint, a bit of green, and blue. It's just that like middle ground. It's so hard to describe. Like sometimes it looks more teal, sometimes it looks more green. So I feel like it's a really unique shade and it blends out so well. It's very easy to build up as well. So really enjoyed this shadow. But then I'm actually going to go in with the shade Earthship and I'm going to use this to just deepen out the outer corners. I feel like I wouldn't typically go in with this sort of olive green but I really wanted to deepen out the outer corners to match the pink eye um, and I think the combo with that sort of warmer green and this like brighter teal it complements each other really well I think it gives more dimension to the look so I'm really happy with how it looks so we're gonna take that also onto our lower lash line just at the outer corners similar to the pink eye and then taking the shade aloe cove we're gonna place that at the inner third of our eyes into our inner corners and also at the inner third of our lower lash line I think this shade is really unique I don't know I feel like I don't have something like this like the base is very teal but the reflex is very green turquoise I don't know but this one is really really pretty I really like the combination but now to finish off the eye look I'm just doing what I did on the pink eye so taking my black liquid liner smudging that out with black eyeshadow my honey lashes
All right, you guys, so this is the second look completed. When I first saw this palette, I knew I wanted to create a duo eye with the pink and the teal. For some reason, it just gave me little twin star vibes. So I really wanted to create like a duo eye look. And I really love how it turned out. I think the colors really complement each other. And I was able to give you essentially another look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this second look. For my lip color though, I am wearing the liquid lipstick from the Sandcastle set in the shade Adobe. Alright guys, so now on to the final look. We're just gonna go in with the shade Chlorophyll and we're just gonna start packing this onto our lids and then we'll slowly blend that up into our crease. This is going to be the only lid color. It's just going to be that statement one and done eye color. I was actually inspired by Zoe underscore Pooh on Instagram. I think she works for Kaleidos or she's the owner or social media coordinator I'm not sure but they posted her on the Kaleidos Instagram and I saw her look and I think she put this all over her lid and it looks stunning so I want to do this too um, so definitely inspired by her so now I'm gonna go into the shade peach soju and I'm just gonna lightly run that all over my lower lash line just to give a bit of a definition I did want to add a little bit of pink into this look me being me I would have just ran a chlorophyll on my lower lash line as well to create a monochromatic look but no I want to do something different so I took pink soju onto my bottom waterline and now I'm just taking Earthship to start creating my smoky wing just because I am going to be wearing lashes I always need to define my lash line just a little bit so we're going to be going in with Earthship and then I will go in with stained glass to highlight my inner corners again me being me I probably would have went with sun gazer the metallic green to create a monochromatic look but I wanted to do something different so I'm adding a pink inner corner highlight to this lime green satrus green look and I kind of like it like it's out of my comfort zone but I like it and then lastly for lashes I'm gonna be popping on the style muse from petite cosmetics all right you guys so this is the final look completed I know it's a really really simple look but I was just inspired by Zoe to do just a standalone lime green eyeshadow look with a pop of pink on my lips i feel like it's such a statement it feels so i don't know retro to me i don't know if that's the right word but i am wearing the cloud lab lip clay liquid lipstick from the flora noir set in the shade cactus flower and i feel like the pairing of the lime green and the hot pink it just complements each other um, which makes sense because they are on the opposite ends of the color wheel So before we start talking about their new liquid lipstick formulation, let's just talk about the lip mask very quickly. So like I mentioned, it is $8, US dollars, which I find very affordable for a lip mask. And I was a little skeptical of this lip mask in the beginning, just because in the actual component, you can see that there is like a little bit of like glitter in it. It's not chunky glitters or anything like that. But for me with my lips, I'm very, very sensitive when it comes to lip care if there is fragrance if there is glitter my lips will have a reaction but I saw the glitters were very subtle so I still gave it a go and I didn't have any reaction to that so it is sensitive lip girl approved it doesn't have any fragrance to it um, it's more of like a gel like lip mask if that makes sense like when i put it on my lips it feels like i'm putting like a gel moisturizer on my lips like in a good way and also it does have like a very very slight tingly sensation i'm not sure if like that was part of the plan but sometimes when i apply this i feel like it's a little bit tingly like a little bit cooling but sometimes when i do maybe i don't notice it i don't feel it but i don't know there's a little bit of sensation when you apply this, so just keep that in mind. It's nothing extreme, but something worth mentioning. If I'm going to compare it to my Bite Beauty Agave lip mask, 
it can't compare but of course the price can't compare either when I apply this on at night and I go to sleep the next morning I can still feel it on my lips but when I apply this one I know it's like completely gone but this one's more of the softening lip mask and I'm assuming that you apply this before the liquid lipstick so your lips are softer I don't really know if it's like an overnight type of thing but yeah I think for eight dollars it is good like I would recommend it even though I got sent this and once I finish this I can see myself purchasing it for myself because it's really affordable and it's very effective but it's not like my holy grail lip mask like nothing can ever beat my bite beauty one so now onto the liquid lipstick set let's talk about the flora noir one because the lip color i'm wearing is from this set i am wearing the shade cactus flower so this set was the one that i was most excited for because there is a shade in here the teal one that reminded me so much of a luxe lipstick from colourpop it's called getty i'll show you guys some comparisons here but Giddy is one of my favorite luxe lipsticks and I'm not saying it's a favorite one that where I wear it every single day it's a favorite one where I think of it a lot because it's such a unique shade like I remember the shade name I know what Giddy looks like and I feel like it's just such a unique shade and now Kaleidos has one in a liquid lipstick formulation because I believe Giddy is discontinued from Colourpop the other shade you have in here is the one that I'm currently wearing a bright pink then you have like the most beautiful chocolate brown I feel like this on fair skin or on a deeper complexion would look so good so good for fall this collection screams more full vibes to me so I think this one to me is more worth to get than the pink one and I'll explain why um, but this one just has more of a statement and if you wanted to purchase one set I definitely would recommend this one because it just brought something new into my collection and it's something very unique all right so I didn't even talk about the formulation <laughs> I'm only talking about the shades so formulation wise these are very comfortable they have this sort of like powdery type of finish like a velvety powder finish if I could compare it to one liquid lipstick I'm really bad at this okay so initially I thought it would be quite similar to the NYX soft matte lip creams but I feel like the NYX ones are a little bit more on the matte side not very velvety and the NYX ones are very moussey this one has a thicker texture for sure but I guess it's more similar to the M Cosmetics infinite lip clouds I did wear the Kaleidos one out the entire day and I did find it a little bit drying throughout the day um, and it doesn't really last that long I wore the more nude ones so maybe the brighter ones would last a little bit longer but um I noticed that it just came off my lips after lunch like immediately so it doesn't have a lot of staying power in a way for a liquid lipstick but it's really comfortable it's a very lightweight it has that sort of like velvety cloud finish also as for the fragrance I remember smelling something it's just a really light liquid lipstick fragrance like it almost smells like what's another lipstick that I smell like this it's nothing too overpowering really like once you apply it on your lips you're not gonna smell anything so, and the next set we have is the sandcastle set so it has all of your i would say it has more like terracotta nudie shades all of the shades in here are absolutely stunning again it gives me fall vibes not really spring vibes but still love it i think a lot of these shades are very very pretty although none of these shades would be my go-to everyday lip color like i don't see me putting any of these into my top drawer maybe the really orange one but I don't know like my typical everyday lip color is something a little bit more peachy more coral and a bit more bright these are a little bit deeper just a little bit deeper and more on that neutral side but I think a lot of people would like these colors these are like the trendy lip colors you know what I mean like I don't know I don't know how to explain it but I just feel like majority people would like it but for me personally and my preference for an everyday lip color uh, if not this type of tone. Alright you guys, so that is pretty much going to wrap up on today's video. This was my review and three looks and swatches and comparisons on the Kaleidos Spring Collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you stay to the end, thank you so much because I know this video is going to be a long one. I know me tonight editing is just, I'm going to be up all night editing. So if you guys did enjoy the video, if you found it helpful, please give the video a thumbs up for me. I would appreciate it so much. Also, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Did you 
you guys already pick up this collection are you going to now as I was getting ready for this video today I was on this site last night and I did see a lot of the things were sold out but there were still a lot of things in stock I think a lot of their bundles were sold out but I think the palette was still in stock and a couple of other things so um, I'm sure they'll be restocking if you want to keep updated with them I would recommend following them on Instagram and also you probably noticed that I didn't do comparisons in my video because Kaleidos did that over on their Instagram. They compared some of their eyeshadows to some of their other shadows in their line. So they saved me like an hour of work. So if you want to uh, get more info on anything, I would recommend go following them. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching as always. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!